What's going on everybody? This is Al from PlaybookGamer.com and in the last MTSU video we took on Tennessee just a hard-fought battle only lost by a touchdown seven to nothing both defenses really showed up that day but they was able to come out top in the end we just couldn't be able to get in the end zone we had a chance in the end but their defense was just too strong for us today we're taking on North Texas we got one more talent than we do than they do. They're one of three. Looks like their stats doesn't tell us a whole lot. They're okay in some things, but nothing spectacular. They do run a balanced offense. I didn't check what defense they ran. We'll find out within the first drive what they like to do. If not, just by looking at the roster. When you look at some of our stats, one thing we really try to need to do better is the run game. Of course, we completely got shut out, you know, in the last game. Barely had, what, 18 yards rushing. It's like an all-or-nothing ordeal so far in this dynasty. You either got a great game running the ball or you get shut out completely. There's not much in between. Hopefully, we can improve on that today. Because of that loss, that should hurt us a little bit in recruiting. As you can see here, we're going down quite a bit for almost everybody. And somebody took us off their list. To boot so we got 15 more points to spend we can see here the right tack this tackle we're still in great shape but he doesn't like one of our pitches uh, we're still going to give it a shot because we're at the top of the list but that does not help things here wide receiver john watkins i'm still hmm, we got some points to play with so i may take a chance here but we already know that 15 points isn't enough to sway him yet we got this guard we're in great shape for. We just don't know anything about him. But at least we're at the top of his list. Uh, we've gave up on the free safety. This tackle here, Matt Carter. We've gone down, but we need to go up a little bit. To at least try to get in his top five. Or top three. But we don't know anything. We're just not getting much information out of any of these guys. And last but not least, quarterback, Alan Upshaw. If we can somehow get this kid, that would be great. So what I'm thinking... We definitely need to put some points on. Let's go put five on this kid. I don't know if we're wasting our time with him, to be honest. Uh, I mean, what are the odds of us just squeaking into the top five? And then from there, what are the odds of us just getting into the top three? So I think I'm going to cut ties with this kid. And if I'm not mistaken, we're okay at wide receiver right now. It's not a huge need. So we can go ahead and put points off of him. This guard we're in good shape for. Let's go ahead and put 20 on him. 20 on him. And this leaves us 20 points to play with. So we're going down to these four guys. Two tackles, a left guard, and a quarterback. It ended up being nothing but offensive players in the regular season recruiting. I'm going to put... Uh, let's do 25 at 25. See if this helps. Uh, I don't know. It's just going to be tough. Like this kid right here, 430, 655. Then we got 455, 620. So it's, it's kind of even. I would almost want to put... Um, I mean, we could try 25 for now on all, five, on all four and see how that goes. But after this week, we're going to have to really do some massaging for a couple of these kids. Biggest thing, if we can get this kid right here, then I'll be happy for the regular season and maybe pick up an offensive lineman. If we can get two of the four, I'll be okay with that. We can handle the rest in the offseason. We can go to ESPN the magazine. There's not going to be a whole lot to see here. Uh, let's see. Hey, we kind of made the, the magazine. At least they mentioned us. Uh, top 25, that's not going to affect us. Heisman Watch, I don't care yet. Let's go to conference standings. Let's check out here. We're the only team... Besides us and FIU that's played a conference game, that's fixing the pickup because we got a conference game today. Our number two wide receiver is out for a couple of weeks. That does not help things. But we can survive that, I, I hope. Looking at our stats, our quarterback is playing pretty well. He's doing his part. He didn't have the best game against Tennessee. He made some bad throws, but he didn't turn the ball over. Gross, we just got to do a better run of the ball. I, some of that, I guess, has with me to need to run the ball a little bit more. But Tennessee didn't do us any favors by shutting us down either. 
Uh, wide receiver Ingram is doing his part of fair. Uh, tackles, Rainey, and he's doing great on interceptions as well. But we only have one guy with one sack. We may have a couple other ones with some sacks, but nobody's really leading the way there. Let's go to North Texas. They got some players out. They got a middle linebacker out for basically the rest of the season. Same with the center. Their quarterback has more interceptions than touchdowns. Hopefully that holds true today. But they got a running back that's putting up some numbers. So I'm guessing they're going to run the ball quite a bit. And looking at their defensive side, they got one guy really putting in the load with Graves. Okay, the only thing else I need to show you is I did make an adjustment to the playbook. I added, you know, goal line. I've been having some trouble. Normal goal line formation, I don't think is all that great in this game. I don't think it's all that great in 06. That's why you see me call different things. And in 06, you know, you're able to use a formation like this to get some advantages at goal line. They rarely go goal line on you when you call something from that. Well, you can't do that in 07. So I wanted to pick something different. So I replaced Pro Twins. I wasn't using a whole lot. And I added Strong Tight. This gives me some options to run Slam, Dive, Toss, uh, my Option Toss Play, Fullback Over, things like that. At least it's supposed to. I didn't even check the plays. But I'm pretty sure it's the basic Strong Tight that has all the basic runs. So we're going to use this for goal line purposes. And hopefully we can get something from that. Everything else stays the same. So I think we are ready to take on North Texas. Can't tell you last time I played this team. It's at North Texas. The ECU game coming up is really big. I have a feeling we may have one guy ready to visit that day. That would be great. Get one out of the way. Hopefully he'll commit. We haven't had anybody get into trouble this year. Not that I remember. And I think it said 4-3 defense for them before. And I just, I barely looked at it. We moved back to 83rd in the country. We know we're better than that. We'll probably end up in the 50s and 60s by the time it's all said and done. At least I hope. If not better. We got plenty of rain. Let's see if that's going to affect turnovers today. We'll take the ball in the second half. Okay, I can show you. We'll go to in-game strategy, and we'll go to set audibles. I don't really use these much, but I just want to show you what strong tight has. This is going to be new for me as well. Dive, blast. We'll play action, play slam. They got a counter. Boots okay, counter weak. The replay is not very good. They got basic toss. Then they got fullback over. And they got power option. That's all I really needed to see right there. That gives me enough options on goal line to do some damage there. Plus, I can take that wide receiver and move him around if need be. So that's what I wanted to see there. Okay, let's go and check out their roster. Daniel Meager, quarterback. He can't run. His backup can a little bit. So we can go after him some today. But this is what they're going to do all day. I think they're going to give this guy the ball at least 20 times. 93 speed, so we got to watch the edge with him. Pretty good little fullback with some speed. Really good wide receiver. He's 87 overall, and this guy's 90, so they got some skilled players. Maybe they'll be fairly balanced. According to, I checked in game, it's like 60% they prefer to run to pass, but we'll see if they go that direction. They got a couple decent tight ends, but I don't think neither one's going to do much. You look at their offensive line. This guy's out for the remaining of the year, basically. An amazing right guard. An okay right tackle. And I think they run a 4-3. 78 and 74 on the ends. They got plenty of defensive tackles. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they run a 4-3. Pretty good outside linebacker. Their starting middle linebacker's out, but his backup is just as good, so that's not a huge drop-off. Not a bad right outside linebacker. Corner, nothing special. Maybe we could take advantage of this. It does stink that we have a wide receiver out. Free safety, they got two guys that are basically the same. A pretty good strong safety. Average kicker, below average punter. What we can do is, let's check out our wide receiver situation. 
Williams is out. Henry and Bale. So who would I need to actually put? The reason why I have Henry in the slot because he's a tad bit faster. And he can catch a little bit better. So I'm okay with leaving that as is. Okay, that's all I needed to see. Hopefully we can survive these next couple games without Bobby Williams. Who's been great for us, by the way. Okay. Let's get this show on the road. Now they got both of their skill players in the back. So well, I'm going to kick it away from them. We're just going to let them fair catch it. I don't want those two guys to run amok on us. We're going to do a lot of one high today, I'm afraid. I think they're going to run the ball a ton. And there he goes. There he goes. Pick up a solid 16 yards there. And as I expected, they're going to do a lot of that today. Hopefully I've done that correctly. Oh, I wasn't expecting that play. Oh my gosh, that should have been a pick six. Oh, geez. Okay. That's a good stop. They are 11 this formation. Get some of those yards back, that's for sure. Now it's third and five. I am going to just do basic quarters. This is a middle of the road basic play. If they run it, you know, if they throw it, just to be safe. Good stop. Ooh, and he's hurt. Injured his elbow. So they are. We can try this. Uh, I'm going to try. Mm, safe return. <laughs> I'm, I'm really nervous about this. I want to see these other safe punt return plays work better than an 06. I'm just not sure if they're going to be. Just fair catch it. Scary, scary, scary. Okay, let's let me fix. We're gonna fix those. Now I don't know where we're at here. We're in the middle of the field. Let's do a basic toss play. Yeah, we're in the middle of the field. Ah, oh, I'd love to go up the middle here. We're doing that. Good little play there. Scare me half the death. I wish, I was told that if there are formation audibles in this game, but only if you use the basic team playbooks. If you don't create a playbook, then you can use them. But if you create your own, then you can't use the formation audible. That's something I'm going to tinker with later on. I haven't got the full with it yet. Either way, somehow I was able to get some yards out of that. The crowd isn't doing much of anything. Let's go. Go tight in corner. First We're going man. I'm going to use our audible. Let's see if we can get Super going. He's L1. No, you got to be kidding. No. No, stupid. Oh, glitch. Terrible glitch. Ah, oh, it's supposed to. Mm. Well, now we know. Uh, okay, well, I guess you can't flip it then. That's good to know. We'll do deep comeback. Jeez, oh, that tears me up. I didn't get the first. Third and two. We're going to stay here. We're going to go back. The tight end corner. Third and two. Ball Hopefully we can get the first down here. Line. 
Get the first down there. Now, let's go to some formations. I didn't even call in the last game. You know, when you got a playbook this big, it's easy to forget things. But we're going to go... Uh, let's go flanker curl. First and ten. Ball we're going man. We're going to spread them out. Their crowd isn't really popping, so those are going to go to one of the receivers. Make a play. Oh my gosh. What a play that was. Wow. He just got in front of it. He slightly overthrew it. I put a little English on it. Maybe I shouldn't have. Well, so much for that drive. Wow. Jeez, first down. Okay. First and ten. I'm really hesitant to use a free safety. Well, their halfback didn't get hurt, I guess. Ah, he still caught it. You gotta be kidding. It's gonna be one of those games, isn't it? Oh, man. Now, I, I want to do a zone blitz here, but I'm afraid they'll just run it. So I want to at least take a chance. Pick up a Toja. Ran the opposite side of the blitz, and we got a player hurt. Well, this quarter's gone perfectly. Going three wide. I'm going to just go back to one high. I don't know what they're going to call. They're, they're doing balance play calling, so. Oh, he had a crossing route open. Mm. Third and five. We'll go quarters, I guess. Or uh, cover three. Don't run. I'm expecting a pass. All day to throw. Off the back foot. We'll take it. Okay. Oh, we're going to get the ball back somehow. Uh, let's do an all-out block. I hope they don't go for it. And if they do, that's just on me. This tends to be a safer situation. Ooh, whoa, what was that? I didn't even touch the button and he didn't go over there. That was weird. You look over here. I called a fair catch and I stopped. I don't remember hitting the joystick. He should have went over here to catch it. Jeez, that was... Okay, whatever. Um, Let's do counter. They'll take over at the 20 yard line. First and 10. We're going to get the flag, thankfully. That's good defense by that linebacker, though. We're going to go first and five. We can stay here. There was something I wanted. Uh, yes, this X dig Z whip. We're going Four zone. Yard line. We're going to spread out. Pick up the first there. I want to try slam. First and ten. Don't know out of a three why I said this will work. They're doing that. Just nothing there. I would try a normal toss play, but I don't... Let's play a little more safe. We're going to run the ball again. We're going zone. And... Uh, I tried to get around the fullback. I didn't know whether to cut in or go back out. 
Thankfully, we got the first down. Uh, let's go here. We're going to go flanker curl. First and ten. This will go to the tight end or the halfback. I'm going to leave that. Get about five yards there. We didn't snap it quick enough for him to get the offsides. So that's the end of the quarter. Well, that one injured player's out for the rest of the day, but that's not awful. We'll go curl flats. We can go to our tight end here. Defensive battle. Mm. Something happened over here. Why didn't he? Why wasn't he? Oh, this receiver got caught on that guy. That's why this guy got close to my tight end. That makes sense. Let's pick something quick. For going man. I'm going to make try to throw this quickly. Just let him have it. Uh, I'm going to go back. I'm going to stay in this form. I love this formation. It's got some good stuff in it. There's X, you know, X dig Z whip. For going man. Because they're going man, I'm going to go to my audible. I'm not going to do any slide protection. Looks like I won't need it. Ooh, good defense. Ooh, hoo, hoo. The reason why that defensive play worked is because they just have bodies over here. That's just good defense. If it was going up against a regular 4-3, then we probably could have made something out of it. So kudos to them. Uh, I feel like we need to throw... Since we're behind the change a little bit, let's go curl flats. We're going man. Mm, good catch. Any fumbles it. Mm, we got the ball back though. Look at this catch here. Not the best throw in the world. Look at this catch. That's one cool thing. A good addition to 07. They got a bunch more catch animations. Technically, that really shouldn't have been a fumble. That should have been an incomplete. But we'll take it. So it's second and five on the right hash. No, it's third and five. It didn't update itself like I thought it would. Let's go with slot corner. They're going zone. This is going to be two down territory for us. I'm going to leave the protection as he is. Just a terrible throw. Fourth and five. Um... Oh, man. Uh, I hope I can get five yards out of this. Is it? We're going to do curl flats again. We're going zone. Ball on the 31 yard line. I hope I can make this work. Just enough. Okay, now we're on the right hash. I want to go... Uh, is it here? Or is it from my spread set? I want to call... Where's it at? Yes, it's right here. Split in drag. For going man. Make a play. I God. The fastball's incomplete. Hey. I'm gonna try my normal toss again. I'm not ready to try the other toss. Ah, they're going zone. I don't know if this will work or not. I mean I'm gonna call a timeout. I just don't think it's gonna work. Go team. Let's go. X post. Second and ten. We're going man. On the -yard line. We'll spread out our protection. Let's go to one of the receivers. Cut. Cut. 
Henry's playing good so far. Now we're on the seven. Let's go. Don't know if it'll work, but we're gonna try. Pull back over. We're gonna see if Super can get to the outside. They're going zone, so this may not work. And we're running towards their best linebacker. Ooh, I can motion him over. Didn't think that was a doable. Nope. Perfect defense. Didn't have a chance. Okay. Um, we're going to go back to curl plants. Just the running game's not working whatsoever. And that's starting to worry me. That's just, just some days you just can't do anything with it. That's good defense. Uh, we're going to go. We're going to go back to tight end corner. We're going zone. So I don't know if we're going to get the yards on this one. Ah, didn't get in. Dang it. I should have dove, maybe. I don't know. We're on the one yard line. I'm going to go for it. I just don't want no field goals. It just, we can't win by just barely doing field goal stuff. We'll go power option. And they're going zone. If I'm not mistaken. Nope, they're going man. Mm, just enough. Somehow my quarterback got beat. No, it just my center got pushed back. It's a miracle we did get stopped right there. All right, I think that was an aggressive call. We needed to do something. So we're in the end zone. Okay, we'll get back on defense. I'm going to do another high kick. I'm not going to kick it off to those two clowns. No way. They're going to just score right on me. I'd rather that guy try to do something with it. They're going to get more yards, but that's fine. We'll do quarters. The North Texas Eagles take over at the 32-yard line. First and ten. Get a few yards there. Uh, we're going to stick with the same play. Second and seven. Oh, I should have cut left. He had a hole there. Third and four. We're going to go cover three. I'm going to try to control the defensive line and see if I can get to the quarterback. Don't run to the left. Intercepted. Intercepted. We're going to go back and look at this. I've done something. I mean, I got to the quarterback quick. I didn't sack him. Maybe I just caused the pressure. And that's about as important as a sack. We can go back and look at this. Go instant replay. You see me on the right. I'm coming through. Nice little swap there. Ooh, I guess I did make the play. Somehow, as soon as that happened, I accidentally took over this guy. I accidentally hit the button. I, I don't know. Then I switched over here. I don't know. I don't know. I was pressing too many buttons too quickly. I don't know what happened there. We got the interception, though. Big play. So we're on the right hash. I want to go back. Do we have... Let's go wide receiver drag. The We're going zone. Will start the drive the this will go to somebody over the line. middle. Or this will go to Ingram or Bale. Good little play there. Now you see, I need to call this play more. I just forget it. Did you notice on the hitch, if you throw the ball correctly, I timed it. Oh, that was perfect timing. The wide receiver will do that. He'll turn his hips to the outside, and he is on a run and go. If everything works out even better, this receiver will be up here and he can get a decent block for you. 
if you got a fast enough wide receiver, you may be able to go right up the field and score a touchdown. So food for thought on that play. For whatever reason, it's the hitches on the right side tend to do really well in that situation. So where are we? What haven't we called? Let's go. Let's do... I'm going to run the ball. Let's do... Let's go to I. Let's do counter. I think it's the first time they've called man on a run play. Got offsides there. It's about the only way to mitigate jump a snap. We'll call the same play. Now they're going zone. So that clock is really running. Nope. Nobody blocked. Nobody blocked. So I'm going to have to get with it. We'll go X post. We're going man. Whew, okay, I thought he was going to get picked off. I thought that linebacker was going to go right over there and make a play. Thankfully, he didn't. They're going zone here. We're going to go to our whip route. I think they're good. I don't know what they're calling here. And I got a sack. Taking it in forever. Um, did somebody come through? Yeah, jump the snap. I figured as much. We're going back to split end drag. We're going man. Last time wide receiver dropped it. Dang it! Wide open too. I'm going to call the same play. It's a good overall man beating, zone beater, all that good stuff. So they are going man. If I can get decent protection here. Oh, he caught it on the impact player. That was actually not a smart, smart call by me. I should not have thrown it to him. Very fortunate on that play. Let's try a basic toss. First and goal. We're going man. Ooh. We'll go right. All right we're going to get a touchdown. Good deal. We're going to run some clock. Okay. We got in the end zone again. Great protection right there. From what I could tell, everybody went in. You saw this right here. This guy, this guy, this guy. Everybody just went in expecting a dive play. And unfortunately, with this toss play, you can't flip it. So that's food for thought. The biggest reason why I picked this formation over I tight, I tight doesn't have basic toss. My option toss, I should say. It's got the normal toss, but not the one that I like the best. And it doesn't have, like, fullback over stuff. Because one thing I may try to do is put Super in here instead of her other fullback. 16 seconds. I'm still going to play this safe. I'm not going to kick it to those two. I wish the clock would be going, but it's not going to. And he's going to fair catch it. 16 seconds. We are going to... Do basic quarters. I don't know if they're going to just run the clock out or try to make a go with this. They're going to throw it. And we finally got a sack. Good deal. Get a little worried we couldn't get to the guy. Couldn't get to hardly any of these quarterbacks. I'm going to try to let these uh, instant replays play out a little bit more. I keep going right on to the next play. You, ne you never know. You may miss a good thumbnail. All right, that is end of the half. Up 14 nothing. I'll take it. Let's check out some stats. We did have a player go out. 155 yards. Only thing, okay, I, I'm okay with the five-minute quarters, but I'm possibly thinking about going back to six. I'm going to let it play out. Though. I want to see if I can churn out a four to 500-yard game on five-minute quarters. If I can't, then I'll boost it up. Because, you know, 07 started the running clock. Even like you run, the, if you 
you know, if you pass the ball and the wide receiver goes out of bounds with it, the clock will still probably run. So that eats up the clock a little bit more than in 06 where it would stop every time. So I'm going to let this play out a little bit more and see. And if I just can't, if I'm really struggling to get 400 yards out of a game, then I just may go back to six. I'm not going to go to seven. It'll take like an hour and 45 minutes to finish a game. Uh, let's check out those rest of those stats. I completely missed those. If I can get to it. There we go. Uh, quarterback's playing well. You know, when he's got a clean pocket, they're running the ball. I just wish it's, you know, that's one out of four games where we just can't run for nothing. So I don't know what to think about that. We had one great running game, then the other four have been just abysmal. So I just, I don't know how to feel about that. We got two turnovers. One of them is off the sack, um, or the sack interception, whatever you want to call it. And the other one, was it another interception? Did I throw one? Oh, yeah, that big, yeah, the big Hail Mary in the end. The big go route where the guy dove for it. Other than that, we're playing just fine. We're going to get the ball back. It'd be great if we could stretch our lead to three possessions. I'm going to do here. Middle of the field. We can try. I really want to see. We, uh, let's try this a basic toss at a ace normal. We're going zone. We're doing 4 6. Get a block right there. Dang it. I should have just kept going around him. Barely three yards there. Right, let's go to something safe. Uh, let's let's go back to X Dig Z Web. We're going man. Wanna try our play action play. There we go. Let's see if we can get a play going here. Oh, man. One more block is all but it took. He'd been gone. Back on the right hash. Let's go here and let's see what we have. Cur curl flats. We'll go flank or curl. We usually do the left hash version. We'll go right handed or right hash. We're going man. I'm going to spread that out. great throw here on a post route with a two-step you got a better chance of this quarterback getting on the inside of right or on the right hip of the defender right this is why i threw it so hard otherwise i would have tapped the you know the button but he was able to get on the inside of his defender i think the two-step post makes a difference there if it was a regular post that may not have happened that's something i need to test more he got great separation. Great throw. He had to stall a little bit, but I'm more than happy with that turnout. Okay, I want to try. Let's go ISO. I don't know if this will work or not. And they're going man, so I doubt it will. I just want to see if I can try to go up the middle some. We're going to go up to the left. We're going to go to the right. I, had, I hesitated. I probably should have followed my fullback. That was just my fault. We could have had some decent yards there. My bad, my bad. My bad. All right, we'll go to curl halfback swing. They are going man. What I may do here, that linebacker may be on him, but I'm going to hot route our tight end to a go. We're going to go cover two. If we'll go to the curl. We are on the right left hash. Uh, let's go back here. Like, I would love to run slants, but we had a hard time with that out route from before. Let's go back to X Dig Z Whip. I have a going man. I mean, you can run this against man, but I would prefer. Ooh, this ain't gonna work. Dang it. Yeah, it'll work okay, I guess. <laughs> I forgot my main fullback was in there, not Suber. That was my fault. My fault completely. Let's go. 
Ooh, Z post. Yeah, let's try Z post. We're going man. Now, we got a normal post on the right side. I don't know. And he's being double teamed. Because of that, we'll probably go to our dig. I love it. Ah. Sweet dig. Mm. Oh, that's so much fun to throw to. Gosh. He had a great release off the defender. Good separation. Look at this. Uh, that's a bad angle. Maybe they'll show a different one here. This ain't going to be a good angle either. I can show you the other one. And it won't let me go there, so let's try this. Look at the timing here. Normally, you want to time it as soon as he makes his break. You see 13 at the very top left. As soon as he makes that cut. And look at the separation right here. More than enough to do damage with. And then, I'm still holding down the square button. And I'm not touching anything else. I'm letting the CPU handle the wide receiver at this point. He could probably get in the end zone quicker than I can. The CPU knows how to get to the end zone at uh, shorter angles or shorter distances than I can. And I think it results in more yardage. Okay. That's a good drive. We'll get back on D. Get an extra point there. Like I said from the beginning of this dynasty, I'm going to try to go through three seasons without touching any sliders or anything. That way it gives me almost 40 games to really sit down and compare and just get a good idea of how this game plays. I can't do it off of one season. 12 games, 13 is just not enough. You need to do at least 30 plus. And that's what I'm going to do. So hopefully I can judge this game better. Then I can make adjustments after that. Now, I'm going quarter shoot. This probably was a bad idea. They're going... Ah, dang it. Juke me out of my shoes. I should have went one high there. He's averaging, them, you know, really well. They just can't get in the end zone. We'll go under. First and ten. That should be a stop there. Good tackle. Second and nine. Back to one high we go. Second and nine. Ball on the 42 yard line. Do an eight man front. It's a good stop. Third and nine. Probably go nickel here. I know they're going with a bigger set. I'm going to add just a tad bit more speed on the field. We'll do cover three. I'll control a defensive end. Let's see if I can get around this guy. I may have to cut in. Nope. Ooh, good defense. The hole just wasn't big enough. He was open right there. He threw it too late. He was about a half second late on it. That would have been a first down. So it's fourth and nine's good stop. So we're going to we'll try double cross. They don't have a very good punter. So I should perhaps get a return here. This is a quick punt too. Now let's see if this works or not. Nope, it ain't gonna work. They don't work on punt returns. My little trick to get out of the third uh, uh, the point of view camera. Uh, let's see. Strong normal. I'm going to try a counter. I really want to see us run the ball here. Let's see if we can do that. Can we? We're doing that. I want to try. I don't know if that's going to work or not. Mm, good little run. Good little run. Counter play, baby. Love it when it's working. Pulling guard, did he block anybody? Looks like it was a perfect block. Great. Now it's up to my fullback. I'm just following his lead. Good pick up on the corner. Then it's just off to the races after that. I couldn't get past the safety there. But a great run. 
So we're on the left hash. What have we call? Let's go back here. We got curl flats. Uh, let's try flank or curl the left hash version. We're going zone. I'd love to get the ball to the tight end here. If there's a hole over the middle, I'll give it to him. Nope. Now you got that covered. At least we give it to our best player. Picked up eight yards. Now what we can do here is I'm going to stay here. We're going to try to do off tackle. I forget that this plays in it. In this formation. We're going man. They're going with like a 4-2-5 looks. I don't know if this is going to work at all. Eh, that helps a little bit. I wonder what happens if I bring this over. Does that move anybody else over? Ooh, that don't help at all. Hmm, interesting. All those shifts and such. Get a block right there. He may be gone. Good deal! Good to see the run game going a little bit now. Awesome. That warms my heart. Good blocking everywhere. Good pickup by Suber. And then the rest of the guys, they just couldn't catch up the gross. Okay, it's getting to be blowout time. I'll let my first string go in, you know, for another drive or two. I mean, I think we got this game under wraps. So it seems like teams that are at my level, I can just blow them out fairly easily. Only thing that worries me about 07 at this point, you know, I'm, I'm basically over jump the snap. I'm just not seeing it a ton. So that's good. And if I see it, I can negate it a little bit. Uh, the momentum meter, I never pay attention to it anymore. I just don't... I, 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 I got too many other things to worry about. Too many other more important things, I should say, to worry about. The only thing that worries me is I kind of wish the CPU offense would do something. It doesn't matter who I play. I mean, Louisville and Tennessee struggled against my defense, and they really shouldn't. So... Sliders may be able to help that, but again, I want to wait until I get about three seasons under me, then we can judge off of that. Ball on the 39 yard line. So we'll see what happens there. Fullback dive. And if that means that I am going to win more games than usual because I got it at an easier default Heisman setting than whatever, I don't care. I mean, this this dynasty is all about testing out things with this game. Wide open. I dropped it. He was open. That wasn't on the quarterback. That was just good defense. and oh, Yes, we're going to try to return this. I'm hoping somebody we go up against this year just puts up like 400 plus yards at least somebody surely we'll go up against a team that just does really well offensively but right now i'm just not seeing it and hopefully a simple adjustment of sliders somewhere down the road could fix that we're on the right hash uh let's ooh, ooh, ooh. go back to split end drag i'm gonna try to make this play work we're going, man. Let's see who's on who. The only thing that worries me is that right there. Can I get the catch? Oh, threw it just too far. We had a one high situation. We'll go here. I'm going to use my Telestrator. I haven't got to use it all day. We're going to go here. We got, once you snap the ball, you see it. We got a one high situation. So, my one high beater is this flag rat right here. This is against cover one. I got a go rat right here. This is like my cover zero beater, and I got the post. That's for cover two. So, since we're going with cover one, that's out, and I'm going to go to either this guy or this guy. So, you notice this guy is much closer to him than all the way over there. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw a little bit quicker, because sometimes he's free safeties are fast enough to go to either side since he's dead center of the field. I gave it a little bit of English. This throw, he ends up back throwing it like right here. I just throw over through it. It was a good read. Just the execution wasn't there. But that's one of the few times you'll see me try to go to uh, a go route against cover one. 
So wait a second and ten. I would love to try. Let's do slam from here. I just want to see if I can run up the middle any. Man nickel. I am going to do that. No, intercepted. Oop. <laughs> that was dumb on my part. I think they was going zone. Yeah, they was going. I, I shouldn't have thrown it to him anyways. That's my fault. I should have went over here. Completely my fault. All right, it's third and ten. What can we do here? Um, I want to try a deep comeback, please. Third They're going man. Ten. Okay, I'm going to try this play one more time. We're going to audible. Last time it... It glitched out on us. Oops, wrong way. Dang it. I pressed the wrong one. Yep, yeah, it faked up. It's a glitch. So I can't call that play anymore from that. I can't flip it. That's fine. We were probably going to get a first down. I bet he was wide open. But they came through with me anyways. All right. So that means I gotta get rid of that audible. We're not gonna call that play from that side of the field anymore. That's a good punt, but he's got all day to make something happen. I was trying to get it closer to the sideline. Last play of the quarter. Halfback draw. Dang it, there he goes. We need to see more of that. Of course, I went with the soft quarters coverage. You should be able to run on that unless I just got great linemen. That'll force me into a one high look. Yeah, let's flip that. Good stop there. Probably picked up a yard. A couple. We'll go back to quarters. I need to try this from under and over. Don't think it's going to affect a whole lot. I was waiting for the pitch, man. I was waiting to see if he was going to toss to the halfback, and he didn't. So it is, what, third and four? I'm going to take a chance on the zone blitz. Third and four. Let's see if I can go after him myself. They may just run to the right and be done with it. Nope, I'm not going to be able to get to him. Big play right there. Just got right in front of it. I don't know if the guy was open. Not even close. I don't know. Just a terrible quarterback. I guess that's all he is. Is just a awful quarterback. All right, they're going man. You know what's a shame about that play-action play? This one right here will go to audibles. You know what's a shame is I got a left-handed quarterback. This play, when flipped, would be perfect for him. He's rolling to his left, all that good stuff, but it's, it's glitchy, unfortunately. Works perfect if you do it like this, though. So we're on the left hash. Let's run the ball. I'm going to go basic toss. The Middle Tennessee State Blue we're going man. At the line. First and ten. Ooh, I got the tight end on that side, so we'll go to the... Go to the right. Ah, good block. Just enough. I thought he wasn't going to get him. Get the first. And we're going to go here. I'm going to call the same play. I normally don't do this, but I have it on my mind, so that's what I want to do. Ooh. We're gonna go to the. We're gonna go to the right. This may be a bad idea. We got some yards. <laughs> I should have went to the left. I guess I don't know. That's great defense. You put your best player on one side, pretty much controlling one side of the field. Then you shift everybody over to the other side. That's confusing. I mean, it's kind of hard to decide where to go in that direction. But I probably could have had more damage done over here. We, we were lucky to get the yards we did. I was able to cut up, get something out of it. Uh, 
we'll go here. Let's see, Z Wing. Let's go X Post. Second and We're going six. man. Ball on the 47 yard line. I'm gonna shift my protection to the left, that's obvious. That's a little scary on the timing here because you got your dig route to buy your tight end. His defender, if you tie, if I'd have thrown about a half a second later, I would not have had any issues. Very fortunate this didn't get tipped or picked off. And he stalled a little bit on the catch. He had to wait on it. But we still got the first half. So that post against man, I don't have to hot rat it to a go to get it to work. We're not going to get as many yards from it. But that's okay. I'm going to go back here. I'm going to try full back over again. First and ten. Ah, this may not work at all. Uh, what I may try to do. Ooh, okay, I'm okay with that shift. We may leave it. Yeah, I should have just kept speeding them to the outside. Offsides. We got the offsides, though. Five yard penalty. Still first down. Uh, are we still on the... Let's do counter. I think we're still in the middle of the field. Kind of, sort of. Ball we're going to go to counter. Still want to play around with some of these plays. I can't really run an 06. We'll go to the right. Nope. <laughs> Had no chance there. Just good defense. So a second and ten. We're going to go back. Let's go back to X post. Back to man. Now we can go to either the dig or the post. Why am I trying to the dig this time? Everybody and their brother shifting to the right. Mm, I love that dig. Oh, backside dig. Oh, man, that never gets old hitting this. Look at this. Mm, perfect timing, right where it needed to be, right before I got hit. Great play. All right, we are on the right hash. I want to go, uh, let's go here. Let's try ISO. I probably need to be running clock just to end this thing, but I don't care. Ooh, I'm going to try to run it right up the A gap if I can. It's not a whole lot there. If they went man anyways, there's going to be a tough out. Right hash. I want to get my ball, the ball to the tight end. Let me think here. We can't do it from here, I don't think. He is. We could probably do it from here. Scissors in. I think we're going to end up having to go curl flats if they go zone. But they're going to go man. Now, what I can do is try to audible him to a go route. Nope, they're going to do that. Ah, oh, great play. Ah. Number 81. Minute 34. We're on the six-yard line. I may have to go here. We're going to try slam. I don't think this is a glitchy play. It may be. I think in 06, sometimes this guy gets caught up. On the fullback. Hopefully this doesn't happen. I'm going to get a touchdown out of it. Really weird. Look at this full. I ran basic slam. Look what the fullback's doing. He's not in the way, which is a positive. But now he's practically made himself useless by doing what he done right there. So I don't know what he's trying to do here. It's a run play, but he is going in pass protection mode for about a second. Then he's off to the races. This may be a good thumbnail shot. <laughs> if I can get down even further, it's not going to let me. <laughs> That's great. Okay. Another touchdown for Gross. I don't think we had a one passing touchdown all day. I think it's been him carrying the load. I'm going to go mass subs. If you remember, I had a good comment from somebody. Like in the first game of the season, I went mass subs on my second team offense. And it only subbed in my offensive line and my skill players stayed in the game. It does fine on defense. But when you do that on offense, it gets a little glitchy. But I was told if you do maybe all of them at the same time via this, you won't have that issue. But we may not see that because the game is about over with. 
so we may not see our offense out on the field. I'll try that later down the road. Unless we look up and get the ball back. Ooh, he almost blocked it. He actually overshot it. He... <laughs> so my protection was terrible. I don't know. I've never seen that before. Somebody come up the middle that easily. Like, he could have, like, sat on the, my holder's head and just waited. Look, I, I don't... <laughs> That's great! Thankfully, the kid's a doofus. Don't know what he's doing out there. Jeez. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> That's great. Okay, let's finish this thing. My punter does not need to be an impact player. We're going to fix that in the offseason. Thankfully, with uh, spring game, and uh, you can switch around your impact players, which is quite nice. You can decide where you want to put those bad boys at. Adds a little extra layer of strategy. Now, I went quarters here, but they're going to go right up the gut, aren't they? Yeah. There's nothing there. Mm, we'll go cover one. Looks like they just have given up. Ball on the 20 -yard line. Wow, somebody came through. I guess that was the jump, the snap. No, they went halfback read. You see here with this right guard. I don't know what he was doing. It looks like they ran read. Yeah, you see everybody, they done a slide protection to the left. They left this guy like wide open coming through. Okay. I'd be really upset if that happened to me. But again, that play kind of looked like it was a read play. Third and 12. Ball on the 18-yard line. Oh, I forgot it was third and long. We're going cover one. What am I doing? And I don't know why I'm controlling that guy. I must have picked the wrong dude. My bad. Yeah, there you go. Gets excited. You're down 35. We'll go back to quarters. Uh, let's do the under version. If I can find it. There it is. Yeah, they may just run the ball again. Take a picture. It's a running back. Ooh, that's a good fake right there. Just a terrible throw. Oh, come on. <laughs> yeah, I think he's right. I did bump into him. My bad. It's a spot foul. First and ten. Ball on the 46-yard line. Ooh, that just really messed me up right there. I don't think it's going to help. Got the first down to go with it. Second and inches. We're going to let that clock run out. And that should be the last play of the game unless they snap it here. And then it's possible that they will. Nope, they're not going to. All right. Good game. Another blowout against a team that we're evenly matched with, so I don't know how to feel about that. But anyway, let's go to stats and scores. Again, this is what this is the biggest worry I have is just the CPU defense, CPU offense can't do squat against me on Heisman. Even in Louisville and Tennessee, they just really struggle. Now, Montario Hardesty in the last game against Tennessee, he had over 100 yards rushing, which is I'm that's pretty normal, but. CPU passing has been like a real struggle. And what's weird is the best quarterback we faced all year is that kid from uh, Florida International. He played really well. They ran the West Coast offense, so they struggled to get down the field some. But either way, I'm just not seeing the CPU defense just tearing it up like I think they should. Again, after uh, probably the third season, I want to see if maybe bumping the sliders up on the CPU offense up 20% on all of them or something will help with that. At least... That's what I'm hoping for. Now, turnovers, that um, looks like a pretty normal game. We didn't even have one fumble other than that one where the receiver caught it, and then he got his head uh, knocked off, then he dropped it. It looked like a fumble. Anyway, look on individual stats. 22 of 30 for Clint Marks had a great game. He had one interception. We did get one passing touchdown. I don't remember who that was to. Running the ball, 118 yards, seven and uh 
almost eight yards on the average of four touchdowns. So that gives me a hope some more that the run game can still be okay in this game. Receiving, every man, their brother got to catch the ball. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And Henry got the one touchdown. That was the dig route. That's right. It was the X dig. Okay. Uh, let's see. Defensively, nobody really stood out. Rainey had a pretty good game. And he's the guy that I control most of the time. He had the interception as well. We did get one sack. Just been real slow on the sack front this season. All right, let's get out of here. So the next video should be another 07 video. Then we'll go back to 06. And then I may do 207 and then 106. And then we we'll, should be evened up by then. And we're going to advance this week. We're going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to let it do its thing. And we're going to look at ECU really quick. So I hope everybody, uh, you know, saw my last post. I talked about all the changes I made to the website. I'm really excited about that. I'm writing a, a post. I'm not going to tell you what it is, but so far, I'm like a fourth of the way through it, and I've already written about 2,000 words. It's going to be humongous. Uh, so be on the lookout for that. I'm really excited about some things I'm doing with some book-related stuff. A lot of good things are happening in the Playbook Gamer world. All right. Next up, we got Easter Carolina. I'm hoping we have a visitor or two for this one. Equal talent. I mean, exact. You look at their stats, they're not really doing anything great. Their defense is nothing to get excited about. Their offense is average, a little bit better than average. Our run game went a little up, but just a barely, but it's just not a whole lot. That's that's probably going to hurt us getting some running backs in the offseason, if I'm not mistaken. We'll see what happens there. I'm really curious to see how the offseason is going to shake out in 07, since it's been so long. All right, guys, come on back. We'll take on the Pirates, and I'll talk to you later.